Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander. Last time we successfully transported a vaccine uh, down to the Fargo system there, or the Fargo ship there, here in Dakota. And uh, we also learned that Knight likes to pass gas in front of the commander, so I <laughs> think that's kind of funny. So let's see what's going on here in the uh, Dakota system today. Well, of course I'm big news. We went over this last time. I'm awesome, remember? Yep, we did take out some crants. Now the crants actually aren't that hard. And uh, I'll go over the strategy with those. We'll be dealing with a bunch of those here pretty soon in the next mission. Yeah, Jalthies are, uh, they do suck. But uh, yeah, just like anything else, they're big and slow, so you just get right behind them and blow them right to bits. Yep, see, just jam a missile up their ass and boom, send them right to kitty heaven. Well, let's see how we're doing on kills here. Wow, we've got as many kills as the boss man, and we've only been out nine times. Yep, we're pretty much amazing. Uh, join me, a maverick. Night is poor company, and I feel the need uh, to talk. Okay, that wasn't too good there, but... Uh, hmm, Spirit seems to be a student of history there. Okay, cool. Things are going well for us, yes. Well, I mean, hello, we've got, I've got 62 kills in 9 missions. We must be ever digital. Man, she seems uh, diligent there. She seems like a philosopher, almost. We must fight as there were tomorrow, for in truth, that is the case. Well, I mean, yeah, the Kilrathi bring up more truth, but so do we. We've got fine young people coming out of the Academy. And besides, you know, I have a feeling that uh, even though the future of humanity does rest on us, we'll be able to take care of it in the future, Spirit. I have a feeling that we're going to be able to take care of this. Knight, how you doing there, pal? Good to see you. Uh-oh, are people saying that you have bad hair or that you're ugly or something? Oh, well, I love cats too, man. Don't worry about it. House cats are great. They purr and they snuggle. And... Oh, so you're, he must be a dog lover, I guess. Then. Oh, he's talking about the Kilrathi. Oh, sorry, I got confused there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we have flown together, and you've done, ex well, almost exactly what I need you to do. Remember, Knight, your job is just to stay there and uh, make sure that I don't do anything stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, also make sure that I don't do anything stu stupid, but also make sure that uh, I get all the kills. Hey, no problem, man. Glad to help. You just keep doing what you're doing. Let me get the kills, and we'll be in good shape. Okay, uh, let's see. We're in the Dakota system. Got our bronze and uh, gold medal there. We're doing good. All right. Let's see what's on the docket for today. Hmm, 10 minutes in, okay. Our patrol wings. A three-point patrol, okay, very... Things have been quiet lately. Too quiet. Man, I'm getting sick of these damn patrols. Man, I want some action. Oh, okay, so we just need to seek and destroy them. Locate the enemy and report back to the clock. Man, we don't even get to kill them. That sucks. That's not cool. And of course I'm going to lead the mission. Who else would? Okay, let's just let's display lambda. Where's that in the Greek alpha Greek alphabet? Somewhere in the middle, I think. Alpha bay gamma delta epsilon zeta delta kappa Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Sorry, I was rambling there. I have a song to know the Greek alphabet. We learned about that in Find New Alpha in college. Uh, not going to be posting that, but oh man, we have two degrees of at or two sets of asteroids. Man, that sucks. I hate asteroids. Okay, so there's apparently nothing out there, but. Uh, I don't know, I guess we gotta find them. Are we clear to engage any targets? Of course, and we're gonna blow them all to hell, because that is what we do. All right, let's go find those kitties. But uh, before we go out there, we actually wanna drop our speed, because remember, there were um, some asteroids at Nav 1. So we wanna slow down and make sure that we don't get obliterated by them. So slow down a little bit, and yep, there they are. So, we'll just quietly dodge this asteroid field, and... What? What do you mean, enemy ahead? What do we got here? Oh, jeez. Now, here's the deal with it with this asteroid field, guys. Um, you want to make sure that the asteroids pass you first, before you even consider uh, engaging the targets. Oops, now there's one right in front of us. Yeah. So, now these are some graphics. They're pretty easy. So, what you want to do is just kind of uh, wait to get behind them. Speed up. You can speed up a little bit there. Kind of match your speed. Then uh, get behind them. They're actually really big and slow. So you just get right behind them, just like you normally would, and just blow them to bits, just like that. See? The second one will then engage you. Same strategy, just follow them from behind. And uh, blow them up, let's see how quickly I can take this one out. Just like that. Now, as soon as you kill that second one, immediately drop your speed again, because the asteroids will resume. And then that's all there is to that. So I'm feeling pretty confident, actually, about my asteroid dodging ability, so I'm going to speed up a little bit here. Uh, if, if you're not a pro at dodging asteroids, viewers, I would recommend not doing this. 
So anyways, now I just gotta dodge this asteroid field. I'll uh, get to nav. Oops, whoa, that's close. I'll get to nav two there and then I'll, uh... okay, there we go. So now I'll just uh, continue to dodge this asteroid field and I'll meet you back out once I'm done with it. Okay, there we go. First asteroid field down. Auto to zone two. Hope you don't mind me doing that, viewers. Okay, let's see what we got here. Right, so there's some enemies here. Who are we going to be dealing with next? I don't care who it is. Bring it. Oh, some cranks. Okay, good. These guys are easy. Let's trade the strategy for this again. So, you know, what you want to do with these guys is it's okay to ram them for sure because we have we have pretty strong shields and that's actually not a bad strategy. Now you want to unleash on them. Then they actually move pretty slowly, so just fall right behind them and blow them up like that. The second one will then engage you. And we're just going to ram them and do the same thing. Yep. Even if you gauge in a frontal battle, it's cool. They, they have pretty thin shields. Shot glass was uh, very much mistaken when he said they were tough. All right. Let's go through like this. There we go. Got him. All right. Piece of cake. Thought I saw some more in the distance there. Okay, let's triple mode here. and No, knight. You don't get to do anything. Remember, your role is to just stay there, okay? Missile shot at us, no problem. Come on, engage, engage me. Engage me. Is Knight going after him? Yeah, form up. No, you don't get to do anything. Always be checking, viewers. Checking on your, uh, on your wingman there. Make sure he doesn't break off an attack without your permission. Because that would steal one of your kills, and that would just be tragic. So, anyways, more Krantz. Let me uh, take him out, and I think there's two more of them. Or maybe there's just one more. Anyway, I'll take it out and be right back. There we go. Another thing I'll say is make sure that you actually save your missiles. Because we, uh, we're we going to need them a little bit later on. And don't auto out of the zone yet because there's more cramps to come. I believe there are six cramps in this zone. So just don't auto out of the zone until you take care of all of them. So I'm not using missiles. And you can actually take them out pretty quickly with that neutron gun. Okay. Ooh, I see a big something in the in the distance there. See, you see on the monitor, there's two red ones and a white one. I wonder what that white one could be. Okay, two more crants. We take these guys out, and then we'll deal with this big white one, whatever it may be. Ah, piece of cake. Okay, let's see what this big thing is. Hmm. Big flashing white dot. Oh, man, it's a Rolari destroyer. Crap. Okay. Now, you may remember how to, uh, I hope you remember how to take care of this. If not, let me show you what to do. Okay, you want to engage it right away. Go right at it. And use all your guns on them. And what you want to do is try and weaken its shields a little bit. There you go. Now fire all your missiles at it. And then just keep playing chicken with it. And it should go down eventually. Come on. There we go. See? It's not the most, uh, you know, skillful flying uh, technique in the world. But it gets the job done. And we've now taken out a Rolari Destroyer. Badass. I am the man. Ha 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 ha. Okay. And Nav 2 is pretty clear. I remember we're going to slow down again because I remember there's some asteroids at Nav 3, according to the briefing. I still think the chip looks pretty cool. But that will speed up past that. And uh, let's see. Where they, yep, there are those asteroids. Now, you want to be careful here because it'd be a shame after destroying that destroyer and getting like 11 or 12 kills uh, to be blown to bits by some silly asteroids. That would not be very fun. So, anyways, let me uh, go through this. All right, once you get the battle music, you're in good shape. Now again, just be very careful going through this asteroid field, and I'll be back once I'm done going through this one. All right, and the second asteroid field done, and now we're back to the claw. I wonder if the name of the tiger's claw is like a, a little shot at the Kilrathi there, you know? Because, oh, slow down. Don't run into the tiger's claw. There we go. Yeah, because, you know, cats, you know, have big claws, and a big cat's like a tiger, so I'm wondering if that's like a, you know, kind of try and give it to the Kilrathi there. Man, I seem to get shot up after every mission. Every mission. But that means that we're in there. We're dogfighting. Taking them out. Okay. Let's see how our debriefing went. Or our debriefing is going to go. Yep. There were some Grathas, but we took them out. No problems. And a Rolari Destroyer at Nav 2. But we took them out. Why? Because we are amazing. Excellent Major, that's the kind of report I like to hear. We'll get used to it, because that's going to be our report for the rest of the game. I, well, except for maybe one mission. I got 11 of them, that's right. And Knight struck out. No problem. 
Glad to take care of it for you there, pal. All right, another ceremony for us. For meritorious conduct again in the Dakota system. Hey, the Silver Star! Awesome! Now look at this. I now have the Bronze, Silver, and Gold Stars. Woo! I've completed the trifecta. All right. Good job, Blair. Man, we've just had another successful run here in the Dakota system. We've completed our triad of medals, and man, and things are going really well. Can't wait to see what we're going to be doing next in this system. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.